Hey, this is Steve from SewingGold.com. I am going to show you how to install a needle positioner with a uh, one horsepower motor or three quarter horsepower brushless servo motor. Uh, we've got the Conso 3001 and the, the Conso 1001 models. This will work for anything that looks similar to these. So what I'm going to do is I'm usually going to send this out to you sort of assembled like that already. You may have to adjust it ever so slightly. I'm also going to send this piece out. That's the uh, adapter that's going to go here. So the first thing I want to do is I want to remove this piece. It's a screw in the belt guard. So once I remove that, because this piece is going to go in there, but the first thing I want to do is put the adapter into the wheel. Okay. Once I put that in there, I'm going to grab this piece. All right, and this piece is going to go inside the needle this is the needle positioner it's going to go inside the end of the needle positioner here and you got to give it a good push to get it in there okay if you can't get it in there you could always put it in sideways and go like that but what i'm going to want to do is i want to take this piece and if you could see the end here i want to go pretty much close to the end all right so i'm going to put it in close to the end like that all right, and then it's basically going to go all on in one piece, but I may have to adjust these nuts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up, I'm going to make the, the nut go all the way out here, and then the smaller end, not the longer end, is going to go into the machine. Don't worry if it doesn't screw in really good, because it just has to be stable. So like mine, I'm just pushing it in. Some of it will screw in, but then it just pushes in. All right, I want to, so I'm going to line this up and then I will adjust the nuts to make sure they're nice and tight. And then you can grab a wrench and tighten both and then it's nice and straight. So that's the simple way of installing this. I'll show you how to program it in another video, but that's the simple way of installing this. So once you get it on there, just tighten one of these for starters. You've got two screws on here. They're hex key screws or Allen wrench screws. Just tighten one for starters, and then I will show you how to install it in another video. But as you can see, it's on there nice and firm. It doesn't have to be super firm. Like I said, you could just slide this in if it slides in, otherwise screw it in. It just has to be set up just like that. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. If you could see it, the screw sticking out of the part with the post where the belt guard is. All right, pretty easy. Uh, there's also another way to do it. Uh, we used to do send this bracket out with our reliable servo motors. I don't get these with this servo motor, but it, it is somewhat easier to do because basically we're just sticking this bracket on the back here. And then that little piece that I put, I'll actually show you. It's easier for me to show you. So let me show you what I mean. If I do send this out, this bracket here, the end of the bracket would fit in here. Okay, so this would be attached to the back. This would be here. And then it would slide on like that. Okay. It's just a little messier solution, but it did work. Okay? 